Here's a uh, customer's 2010 CVO Street Glide. Um, came in here for audio and uh, heated seat. Um, the seat itself, we've got two elements in here underneath the factory CVO Street Glide cover. Um, there's an element here, runs up to this point in the seat. There's also an element here, runs all the way back. Both of them are independent of the uh, installed uh, factory switches which we installed here and wired directly for the seat heater. Uh, the seat also is removable with a uh, waterproof plug. Uh, it's a four pin plug, um, very easy to plug and unplug. Um, very simple for installation of uh, removing the seat and putting it back on. Um, we also have the CVO lowers, which this bike did not come with. Um, came with the uh, glove box lowers. Um, customer had them painted black. Uh, installed in here we have uh, the Arc Moto 602s, which is a six and a half inch coax. Um, we modified the Arc grill uh, and painted it black. They do come with a silver grill. Um, it's modified to fit in here. Uh, has a really nice flush look. It looks better than the factory speakers which have exposed screws from Harley-Davidson. Uh, we also had to modify the intake on this uh, which Harley says will not work with this speaker pod package. Um, we modified it uh, to work and it looks just like factory complete with the clearance. Doesn't have to be pointed down or up. Uh, looks just like it did when it came in here. Um, in the, the front of the bike here, um, we have all our wiring. Uh, we've got the ARC uh, two-channel um, mini, 125.2 mini. Uh, does 125 watts by two. Uh, simply mounts on top of the radio. Um, keeps your bag space to 100% the way it was before. Uh, adds much more power. Uh, and also we have the 602 coax motos, um, six and a half coax up front. Um, with the Arc Audio spacers. Um, complete factory look from, from the inner fairing. Um, we also installed, the customer provided the Harley um, uh, inner fairing antenna, so that's hanging here. Also, obviously, the wire hanging down here is for the headlight. Um, mounted here is our relays to control the seat heaters. Um, everything is fused and independent of the bike, um, wired back to the battery. Um, customer also had uh, his navigation XM here, which we tidied up some of the wires, secured all the wiring for it. Um, just kind of showing you what our wiring looks like. Um, we we want to make sure that the bike is still serviceable, that uh, when they take the fairing off at the dealership, that uh, there's not a big ball of wire that just drops out. Um, obviously, this antenna will be mounted to the inner fairing when we reinstall it, or the outer fairing, I should say. Um, moving on to the stereo. We are utilizing the factory radio, um, which works great, makes the bike appear stock, um, can, retains your handlebar controls, um, which we can interface with an aftermarket radio, uh, but this works just great. You keep the uh, water resistance of the factory radio and the factory look. Um, there's really no major advantage to having an aftermarket radio on these bikes uh, other than connectivity with iPod or uh, satellite radio or HD radio. Um, so down here we've got both switches. One works the back seat, one works the driver's seat. Um, for the seat heaters, they work independently of each other. Uh, they just come on on high. So whenever they're on, the seat heaters are on full blast um, just to make things simplistic. Um, once again, nothing in the bags. Um, it's six and a half lowers, six and a half uppers, factory appearance. Um, bike is very loud, uh, will play uh, all day long. Um, these Moto speakers are designed to withstand a lot of high volume, high heat application that uh, is very apparent in, uh, in bikes. <laughs>
heard any distortion there, it was definitely the uh, microphone on my iPhone. Uh, this bike is crystal clear loud. Um, we've got it tuned so that there is some adjustability and volume for FM uh, and the aux input for his XM unit as well as CD. Make sure that uh, every time you choose a different source you have some volume. Uh, last thing the customer wants is the FM radio uh, much, much quieter than the CD drive. Um, so that about sums it up. 2010 CVO Street Glide with the Arc Audio MPAC 6 with the additional Arc Audio Moto 602s in the lower. Our custom seat heater setup uh, with waterproof plugs and utilizing factory switches.